Hi guys. It's been um, a rough day. Uh, I don't mean because we've got some really shit weather at the minute again. No surprise there. But um, we had to have little Min put down this morning at 10:15. She. Uh, had a condition where um, basically her white blood cells was were attacking her own body, and that was causing her um, vital organs to gradually shut down. So it was a case of and let her die suffering, or put her to sleep. Didn't have much option really, did we? It's hit us all pretty hard though, because we loved her to bits. Yes, I'm feeling a little bit off tonight. Uh, I don't know what battery life I've got left in this camera. But I'll just go and when it shuts off by itself I'll put new um, batteries in because I've got some new ones charged. I was going to mum's tomorrow but I changed my mind because I sort of had a bit of a delayed reaction if you like. Because, uh, well, at the risk of sounding like a very soft soppy git I sat here a little while ago crying my eyes out. And that was like 12 hours, almost exactly, after she was put down. And I only know that because I now looked at the clock. Yeah, it was about half an hour ago. It's now just gone... Yeah, just gone quarter to eleven. She was only five years old. Still young. I was going to um, take some getting over her, I know that. She had such a person, uh, such a personality. <laughs> For such a small dog, she really did have such a personality. Queenie, we used to call her, because she'd sit there. And that's just the way she'd look at you. As if she was the boss. I think that's the bit that we're all going to miss. The way she used to uh, ask us to um, do things for her, like... Uh, if she wanted her blanket sorted out on her bed, she'd sit there at the bed and she'd stare at it and make little uh, grunting noises as she looked at the, between you and the blanket. And the little scraps at the door she used to do when she wanted to go out and... Hmm. Most people out there that will watch this video will be able to relate, I should think. The thing is, I feel exactly the same way as if a, uh, you know, relative, a human passed away. Exactly, exactly. Because to me, pets are family. And that doesn't matter what the pet is dog, cat, hamster, gerbil, fish. You know, you bring them into your life, you look after them, regardless of what the animal is. And you show it love, it shows you love, and, and one day, poof. That happened to Nemo one day. I'm dreading that day. I really am dreading that day when his time comes.
<sighs> I'm actually a bit tired because I was awake earlier than normal because of the air ambulance again landing at Paston College again <laughs> this time for um, the first time was about a week yeah about a week week and a half before Christmas and that was to an elderly gentleman that had suffered a heart attack at the dentist in the town centre and uh, today was an elderly lady that had suffered a fall Personally, I don't think they needed the air ambulance, but and according to the friend of a friend um, who works on the air ambulance, says that the service is a waste of money. I'm not sure how he would figure that out, but I don't work for it. I mean, from my point of view as a member of the public, it's a valuable life-saving tool. Um, apart from when it's being used for silly things like a, it's a simple fall but she was complaining of back and neck pain but even so I wouldn't have thought that it was necessary for the air ambulance if she was conscious and her vitals were fine then put her in a neck collar put her on a backboard spinal board and bung her into the ambulance and take her up to the hospital that's just my view you know I'm not an expert but I could be completely wrong and looking at that completely wrong and if I am feel free to shoot me down <laughs> you know I'm not Mr. Perfect I'm not one of these that think or one of these types of people I should say that think I'm always right because I'm not I'll just say things the way I see it and if it's wrong I'm wrong <laughs> You know, I may have one view, but my view is always subject to change. I don't think M4 examines were a good idea, but never mind. I was in a, I'm been in a bit of a I don't give a rat's ass mood, and I was hungry, so I scoffed four examines. Yeah, don't be a pig. I don't recommend it. I've got a bit of heartburn now. It's my own fault. <laughs> uh, I think if I don't joke around and be myself I'll probably sit and cry like a little baby again oh dear me yeah, I've got a feeling I'll be up most of the night anyway and if I was going to go over to mum's I'd have had to have been up way before 8 o'clock with my sleeping pattern at the moment I probably wouldn't get to bed until around about 3 o'clock in the morning, and maybe even later tonight. Oh, do you want to know what the real fucked up thing was? Let me just swap my hand because my arm is open. I had a dream last night, and I'm walking around with these two dogs. No idea what breed they were, or if they were meant to actually be a specific breed in my dreams, because I have weird dreams anyway. But, um, anyway, I'm walking around with these two dogs. I don't even know where they come from. I don't even know if they were mine or if they were someone else's I was looking after or what. I haven't got a bloody clue. All of those, I was walking around with these dogs and they were doing and going, you know, whatever I told them to do or whoever I called them to. Then one got hurt and died. I wake up to the bad news this morning. <coughs> Oof. Glad this didn't smell of vision. Oof. I wonder where Nemo's disappeared to. Yeah, I think I might put some GTA on in a little while. That'll blow some steam. I have a bad wrist. We've had this evening. A lot of high winds, up to 60 mile per hour wind gusts, gale force winds. Hence the whistling window, which may get taped up tonight, because I ain't trying to sleep with that bugger down my ear. Can you hear that? That's because... I'll just turn it around. Along this uh, far edge, 
the seal has gone on the window. Could do with a new one, really. But a bit of tape just down that side, a bit of PVC tape is all I use, electrical tape. And that just stops it whistling. Oh yeah, today I did take the back cover off of this and clean up the volume control. Um, I could have done with some rubbing alcohol or something to uh, um, clean that with a bit better. But I just used a cotton bud and just ran it over the... Because um, it's a slidey switch. It's not actually in like a metal enclosure in the um, thing. It's all in the open, these sliders. So it was just a case of slide the switch one way and wipe it over with a cotton bud and slide it back the other way and give it a good clean down with a cotton bud on the other side and it's a lot better tape deck isn't playing for some reason I don't know why I didn't knock anything when um, I had the cover off I know I didn't I just literally just gently slid the back off and uh, did what I had to do and then gently slid it back together but I don't know, maybe something pinged off without me knowing. But, uh, I can always take that off another day and have a look. Uh, stuck this thing up here out of the way. It actually snaps videotapes. But, uh, I don't really want it for the VCR part on it anyway, so I don't care that that don't work. I just want the actual TV. It's quite a nice size, actually. I'm not fussed. Like I said, if I can find somewhere I can set that up, I could actually put my PS2, possibly the PS1 as well, onto it. That would be a um, quite an awesome idea. You know, old school consoles with an old school TV. I like. Right. It was the leftover from dinner. Did I take my pill? Yeah, I did take my pill. <sighs> I really have got wind. I do apologise. Yeah, the wind's dropped down from what it was earlier. I mean, it was actually blowing so hard this glass was flexing inwards, which was quite scary. Uh, there was area, a couple of areas in town that had lost power. Uh, I don't know if they're back on yet. I haven't actually, it was a, I noticed it or saw it on a Facebook status on um, Facebook. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> so uh, I haven't actually seen any um, updates on that status so nearby come back on by now. My lights did dim quite badly at one point to the point that it actually um, affected the oven in the kitchen. But uh, I only did that once and a few flickers and that is it. I haven't touched wood. I haven't had uh, any issues. I went down and put my bike away early before it got too bad uh, the coast was on flood alert because of the high winds because of the, because of the uh, wind direction and when high tide was um, <laughs> they put the coast on flood alert but uh, it seems to have passed without incident thankfully That's what I like to hear even though no incidents is completely boring and you know makes for a boring night but I'd rather have a boring night than you know have to deal with incidents where people have been hurt or got stuck or you know you know what I mean a boring night is a good night in that sense I'll, I'll uh, put it that way <laughs> No, we still have a little bit of rain. The mirror was forecasting snow tonight, but I know that's a ton of bollocks. 
we had snow. Oddly enough, not long after Min was in my eyesight and my light just flicked again. <laughs> I might be having some trouble up at the substation in town. <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh yeah, oddly enough, not long after Min was um, put to sleep it started to snow. Which was rather ironic because she hated no, my lights are dimming again. She hated the cold. Absolutely loathed it. And the rain. She would not actually go for a wee in the rain. If it was pissing down out there, forget it. She'd not go outside. <laughs> she wouldn't even go if you took her out, picked her up and took her out there. Because she'll just turn around and come back. Come straight back in through the door. Oop. Yet that power drop has just knocked the street light out over there. Which I've noticed it does do that when the power drops. Or when the lights flicker like mine just did. Oh well. If I get a power cut, I'm not worried. I've got backup lights. I've got radio up here with batteries in it. So I won't get totally bored. <laughs> It'd be alright if I could run the um, internet hub via a battery, you know, if I could... I suppose I could make up a 12 volt battery pack. I could plug straight into the back of that. <coughs> Not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> I've got 12 volt battery somewhere under here. All I would actually have to do is make an enclosure for it. Connect on a lead. Well, actually, I could cut a lead off one of my many, um, many, many, many internet modem or routers adapters that I've got in there because they'll fit the back of it. Even the older ones, they use all the same size plug. Doesn't matter what model BT have used, they've all been the same plug and the same voltage rating 12 volt. So I could, actually, I could do that, because that battery is charged. Mind you, I wouldn't actually need an enclosure. I could just solder the wire straight to the battery. Making sure I get the polarity around the right way. <laughs> I've just realised. should say, on the back of the um, fibre op hub, you can just see a blue light under my desk right there. That's the... Uh, Internet hub, as we call them. I don't know why BT call it a hub. Um, I don't know what the difference is. If there's a difference between that and a router and a modem. All I know is that all three of them connect you to the internet. <laughs> yeah, if I could actually run that from a battery, then I could still be online. Because I could still actually use a laptop. Well, if I've got a laptop with a good battery, that is. <laughs> Mine don't last very long. Um, my Windows 7 one, actually, it doesn't last at all. Uh, yeah, I've got LED light here. By the door. I've got another one of these I can put up. I should put it in the hallway somewhere, actually. And I've got another one down that end of the lounge, so I've got one at each end. And actually, they're not too bad when the... Uh, I'll leave them on, and I'll uh, just turn the lounge light off. Keep in mind it. Let's turn the monitor off as well. See, it's not bad. It's, it gives enough light for me to at least see around the room. I think I got those from Lidl's. I mean, ah, there we go. And the LEDs on the camera help. I mean, you can see the reflector on the cone at least. Yeah, there's the other one. <laughs> Turn the LEDs off. <laughs> 
uh, we've got one in the bedroom as well one in the bathroom the one in the bathroom is not an LED though that's a, um, it's a push light with um, just a standard bulb in which don't really matter because I'd only hit it when I go for a pee anyway but I haven't got anything in the hallway so I could do with another one of those I'll just get some fresh sticky pads, foam sticky pads and uh, stick the back plate up I don't know, on the ceiling or something in here, I don't know. Yeah, I suppose I could go ceiling in here. It's easy enough to pop them off the backing plate and change the batteries. Yeah, the one I've got in here is, uh, there. <laughs> near the door again deliberately placed near the door because uh in the dark that's one of the things that you would actually need to find the most the door <laughs> sure i'm missing something oh yeah they still underneath them. did i leave them up there did i leave them under here i did leave them under here I completely forgot about these. Oh, I can't get it off. So what I'll do, I'll uh, turn the little eddies on on the camera on there. <laughs> forgot I had that one under there. I think I took the batteries out, though. Yeah. But I left that under there. I don't know why I left it under there. If I weren't thinking about backup lights and whatnot, I'd have probably completely forgotten that was there. <clears throat> right. Oddly enough, making this random vlog has uh, cheered me up a bit. I'm actually uh, <laughs> not as down as I was. Um, oh, I thought I turned the LEDs off. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a bonus. <clears throat> Cleared up most of what was on there, at least. I think most of it was little stuff that I just chucked in here till I can be asked to sort that out. Having a quick check on Facebook. No, Mum's gone to bed because they've both got to be out in the morning. Oh, right. Can't believe the batteries are held on for as long as they have. It was nearly 25 minutes. Right. Well, as I'm going to be home tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm going to get up to. Drag that bike out of that bloody cupboard, I think, and start on that. I've got wheels. I'm not sure I've got the tyres I want to put on it. But I've got wheels, I've got tubes, dryers are still on it, handlebars are still on it. I've just got to find a seat post clamp, cables, chuck the wheels on, chuck some V-brakes on. Sounds so easy, it sounds like it's going to be half an hour job, but no. I'm looking at a good two, three hours worth of work. Unless I get bored, then it might be two hours. It might even be an hour if I get completely pissed off with it. <laughs> well, I suppose I should go pee. Put the PS3 on. 
So I actually watched a video on YouTube earlier where they were um, they were playing GTA Online, but they were up on the mountain and they were just driving their cars off and or their trucks off and wrecking them. And uh, I like being that destructive, and I'm surprised I didn't think of that myself. I just got to remember where the mountain is. But uh, I'm sure I could find it on the map. I'll pour myself a drink while I'm at it. Because I do like... It's starting to rain again. Is it rain or is it sleet? Because we've had sleet tonight as well. I tell you, with rain like this, I can't see it freezing. On with the PS3. On with the television. See how many times I can die. You know, for some reason, I don't like playing, I suppose you could say, destructively, you know, killing people and cars and whatnot, on any of the other characters apart from Trevor. Probably because Trevor is meant to be, you know, the psychopath. And the other two characters aren't. I'd, I've actually found that, and I've said it before, I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but I tend to play the characters as they were designed. So as Trevor was, was designed to be the uh, psychopathic one that loves to get blood on his hands and whatnot, that's how I play him. <laughs> Michael, not so much, and Franklin even less. I don't know, I was just... I don't know, it might just be me, but I, when I played story mode, I played them... well... as I thought their characters would um, behave. And it's not fair, because I did experiments yesterday, right, or last night. I'll just put this in, then I'll end the video because it's coming up to half an hour. Um, anyway, I uh, did some experiments last night, and even if you just sat near, even if you just sat near um, one of the um, you know random characters that are out and about, they might just randomly call the police on you for no reason pisses me off, you know, you can't interact with the game, apart from killing them. <laughs> you know, give them reason to call the police on you. That's actually quite, you know, it's what I like about the game, it's alive, technically. <laughs> you know, if you do something wrong, one of the NPCs will just, you know, pretend to make a phone call and the police will come along. Although it is pretty easy to hide from the police. Anyway, I'm going to disappear. So I want to go and take a tinkle. I want to go and top the glass up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just realised I could have done um, egg mayo instead of fried egg sandwiches. And poo. Never mind. I could do that for breakfast. Thanks for watching. I do apologise for the sad news at the beginning. But, uh, it's life. Hopefully I'm not going to want to cry like a little baby anymore. I don't mind admitting that. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.